Steve Ducey over at Fox News was fretting this morning along with his guest, the president and CEO of Concerned Women for America, that the sequel to the Disney hit movie Frozen is going to ruin boys. The new uh, Frozen movie that's coming out in a little while, from what we've seen, it looks like they depict men as evil and cold and bumblers. Mm -hmm. um, that's what it looks like. What, what kind of message does that send? Well, and it's not just Disney. I mean, it's Hollywood in general has often sent the message that men are superfluous, that they're stupid, that they're in the way, and if they contribute anything to a family, it's a paycheck. Some real hot takes there from your friendly neighborhood Fox News stars. Uncovering the hidden injustice men are suffering in Hollywood right now, particularly at the hands of the shameless man-hating Disney empire, which has a long history of brainwashing our children with evil or bumbling male characters like Hercules or Tarzan or Aladdin, to name just a few. We want to raise real men. We want to encourage masculinity and not villainize masculinity. It would be nice for Hollywood to have more male figures in those kind of movies. Strong male heroes. figures. Mm -hmm, absolutely. We can both be heroes. Indeed. It's true. Seriously, if Mr. Ducey d truly does feel marginalized by Hollywood's representation of his gender, I might point him to some numbers collected by the folks at USC's Annenberg School last year. The top grossing films of 2013 across more than 4,500 speaking roles, about 30% were women and 70% were men. Not surprisingly, just 28% of films even had a female lead or a co-lead, and just 2% featured more female characters than male characters. So my advice to Steve Ducey is let it go, let it go.